All right, people, here is the deck profile for the Mechlord Deathbot deck. So this deck was, eh, like, it got voted on. I was kind of iffy about it to begin with, and I really don't see too much of the synergy. Like, it's like, Deathbots like to summon in Machine Dupe, and the Mechlord monsters want to be destroyed by card effect. Like, where's the synergy, you know? Besides the fact that they're both machines, it's just kind of eh. So... Uh, we stuck with it. We stuck for it a month, a month plus, you know. Uh, at first, it was mostly just, you know, death bots with just, you know, granules thrown in. But I tried to incorporate a little bit of both. Tried to get both ends and, uh, you know, get a little bit of equilibrium on both ends. But the deck is not too hot. And in the end, you'll probably just be doing a lot of rank 4 plays. But, hey, rank 4 plays are really strong themselves. So let's go ahead and hop into it. So we run... Triple Gold Gadget and Triple Silver Gadget, uh, they're really great. They're probably one of the best uh, summon enablers if you're summoning some level 4 machine monsters. Uh, the fact that if they're destroyed by a battle by card effect, then they get to, you know, tag the other one in is pretty good. That they get their effect when the normal summon or special summon, so you can, like, summon silver, silver can summon gold, gold can summon something else is good as well. So I wanted to make sure that I had my, my gold and silver gadgets because we are doing some rank 4 plays. We run Triple Goblinberg, and you're probably wondering, like, why Goblinberg over 10 Goldfish? Uh, the reason why it's Goblinberg over 10 Goldfish is because when this card is normal summon, you can special summon a level 4 or lower monster. I.e., you can special summon the Despot 2, and this card is an F, so it doesn't miss timing from Goblinberg turning to defense mode. So that's the reason why it's Goblinberg over Goldfish, because Goldfish can always summon level 4. So uh, all we had to do is just, it's a simple swap. It really is a simple swap, I and mean, they both just do the same job. Uh, the only thing is the rep is that I cannot go into Gear Guy X with Goblinberg, but I mean, I'm not going to go to Gear Guy X too much. Too much. It's just maybe just once, search for that Granel. If I get destroyed by card effects, then, you know, let's go. But, uh, yeah, I think I'd rather go ahead and have Goblinberg turn to defense, especially summon the Deathbot 2, if need be, to get that uh, to get that search, because that search is very important. It's actually what makes Deathbot 2 uh, really great. So, uh, then we have our Mechlord, so two of the Army Granel, two of the Army Sky, and two of the Weisel. Uh, they're okay. They're not the greatest. You know what? I'm lying to myself. They're, they're booty. They're booty. All three of them are booty. Booty, 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 rocking everywhere, all right? Uh, but... It's Mechlord deck, we're going to throw them in there, and they're going to do their job of being just rank 4 materials, really. I mean, that's that's what they do. I can't, really can't say that. I wanted to come ahead and throw them in there just to make it more of a Mechlord deck, but god, they're mm-mm, mm-mm, you know. This deck would not lose anything if they were really moved, besides just, you know, level 4 fodder. That's it. But they're all just kind of meh. Uh, we run three Granel because I wanted to make sure that I get Granel. Granel is very important. He's like the the heart of the deck, you know. Especially in tag duels, where we have sixteen thousand starting off with summon. He gains half our life points. That's you know that could be you know close to an eight thousand beater. Like let's go, you know. Uh, I'm not running the other mech lord, the one that negates spells, because it just didn't feel like it was necessary. I was having a hard enough time, you know, getting destroyed by card effects to summon Granel, let alone. Uh, Summoning the other one too, which is just speed cloggy. So I was like, we're just gonna go with Granel. And uh, that's all the mech lords. There really is all the mech lords. I was running like the mech lord traps, but they were a little slow. They really were. Uh, they would kind of just patter out. And uh, I, uh, when it's like, oh, you can uh, turn every monster from defense to attack, and then the summon the monsters destroyed the interface, which of course would provoke Granel, but it was just slow. It really was. And uh, I just wasn't trying to go for that. So. I uh, ended up taking it out. Like I said, this deck went through a lot of changes over this past month plus, and uh, this is the last edition I got before it gets taken off. Like, I didn't even give you guys a choice. Usually I would, you know, take the decks that were currently on uh, Daily Duels and put them back on the polls, so if you want another month, you can get another month. I didn't even give you a choice. This one's even on the polls for time. You're not getting another month for this, because this deck, it just, it, there's just no synergy, and maybe it would have been better if it was a single deck. You know, it just happened to be a tag deck, and tag decks, they have to be a little bit different, or struggle a little bit more. But, uh, just, ugh. Alright, so, uh, let's go to the death boss. We run three of four, three of three, and three of two. Uh, I was just trying out three and four, but then I was like, you know, we need to get some two up in here, and you need to get that two or three action. Two, three, four, definitely the best. And that's where we started getting a little bit more changes to accommodate for three as well. So, that way you can, like, you know, summon three, and then three can, like, summon four, four can attack, maybe drop, like, a two, two, summon back three, and, you know, and do plays like that, you know, there's multiple plays. Like, the Death Ball Monster is really strong, we couldn't play too much of them, it's like we couldn't play too much of the Mech Lord. Uh, we just try to take two decks that are just like, hey, we're machines, we're machines too, you want to smash them together, and, you know, it's like taking a freaking a circle hole, and I'm just trying to shove the fucking square block in the hole, and it's just not going, but, I mean, what you gonna do, right? 
so that was our Despot engine. Uh, we run triple of our Red Resonator, and the reason why Red Resonator is in here is because, similar to Goblin Bird, when his card is normal summon, I can special summon a level 4 lower monster from my hand. So, not only can I special summon all of my level 4 monsters to go into possible rank 6, I mean, sink 6 plays, but I can special summon my Despot 2 as well, get a search, and then either go into a rank 2 play or a sink 4 play, uh, which is the old entity, Kasang, blah, 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 blah who, when he's used as an extreme material, I get to draw a card. So, you know, there's been plenty of times where, you know, I have like a, you know, rank four play, summon, summon another one. I, I forgot to put Norden in here. I just noticed that. I definitely should have Norden in here. I, I don't even think I, you can even say rank four without putting in Norden. Oh, well. Like I said, plenty of changes, plenty of changes. We're already at a 50 card deck, and look how tight this is. Like, I would have to literally rip out everything that would make the deck efficient with the rank 4 plays to even get this down to 40. So, overall, I'd say the deck was a complete and utter failure. Uh, it's probably one of the worst decks on Daily Duels, and I apologize for it. I really do. Like, I, at first I thought, eh, and you guys voted for it, and we went with it, and God, you know, like, I felt sorry. I, I had to apologize for my, my tag partners for just the anticlimactic plays I would do at times, but, I mean, I got rank 4 right but yeah Norton should be in there uh, but yeah so we threw in Red Resonator as well so I think Red Resonator helps the, the Despot 2 as well if we get that special in the search uh, we run three potty capidity. If we run a 50 card deck, we run capidity, obviously. Uh, the two dark holes of Regeki, A, it saved me plenty of times. This dark hole Regeki, especially in tag, you know, especially in tag when you have two people going off. It's just nice to be able to dark hole Regeki. It saves your butt. And of course, the dark hole, you destroy your monster card. In fact, Grandel can get summoned, so that's nice. Regeki, on the other hand, it's just your opponent's cards. But I mean, come on, it's Regeki. Uh, we run one limit removal, double that attack, destroy the end phase, which will also provoke Grandel as well, so that's pretty good. We got three iron call, uh, some of them level four lower machine type monsters from their deck. It sucks that they're affecting it, so. You can't like you can summon two, but it's not gonna get that search that rip on that. But uh, I actually messed this up. We actually destroyed their end phase, which of course will still provoke Granel. But you know that's also for for like four plays. We run two machine dupes. I could probably cut this down to one, put a Norden, maybe try to number generate this a little bit. I don't know. It just sucks that machine dupe only works with the despots and doesn't work with any of the like. If the Mech Lords had stats for a machine dupe, yeah, maybe we could talk. You know, if they were like you know. You know, 500 pack or less machines, and I could like summon like my Mech Lord, machine dupe it, and then you know, summon two more level 4 monsters, and go to like you know, Ouroboros or Adulteros or you know, other rank 4 plays, and yeah, let's go. But this only has synergy with this, and the, just these decks, they don't have synergy. What is the point of putting them together? There's literally no point. Either you want to play Mech Lords, which are completely shitty, or you want to play Despots, which are actually pretty good. So you choose, but I would never, never, ever, ever smash these two decks, and I regret doing it. When Triple Sword Twister popped pop that background, Trench of Tribute to Provoke for Granel and the Solemn Brigade, because I throw the Solemn Brigade into pretty much every deck. I mean, come on, it's so good, it's so good. Alright, so like I said, we can sync eight, I mean, six, sync six with Red Resonator. So Goyo, Goyo Guardian, because he's, he's Goyo Guardian's Beetle, Curl Dragon Pitch is popping, you know, he leaves the field, I get to draw a card. That's pretty nice. Uh, there is no sync five, because I don't want to do this to this. That would be terrible, terrible. This only gets the effect when it's normal summon, so that'd be dumb. So there's no five. Uh, then we, I, think we got, I already talked about the old entity and the Sky Calvary. Uh, we got a break sword just in case. I just in case I have two Despot threes on the field, I can go into that break sword just in case. You know, it's just it take the one spot and break sword can save your butt. You know, it's nice to have your toolbox ready. Uh, the gear guy next. Of course, you get your Surge, Castell, Dark Rebellion, uh, Heartland, Cowboy, you know, these two can steal games. Uh, Dweller, because Dweller, and then two Utopias and two Utopia Lightnings, that's it. We're going to rank four, so I'm going to go into the best rank four, and that's Utopia Lightning. I mean, come on, Utopia, Utopia Lightning, it's even probably passing up Castell with uh, how just good it is. I mean, 2,500 amazing, I can go up to 5,000, like, oh, come on, so good, so good. So, uh, I mean, if I would take a card out, I don't know, maybe it'd be like one of these two. I don't know, everything else, I mean, I guess I could drop this down, but I, I mean, it's just so good, like, Utopia, Utopia, the Lightning, Castell, the Dark, maybe the Dark Rebellion, maybe, maybe, no, it probably be the Heartland, probably the Heartland or the Cowboy, one of these two, and put in the Norden, and then drop this maybe down to one, to put in the Insta Fusion, and then, uh, you know, I guess we could do that now, since we're here, but, I mean, I, I don't even know why I'm, like, even doing anything to this fucking deck, because this deck is just so, so bad, like, it, it, it's, it's literally like, hey, Put together like a dark magician blue eyes deck. Like, why the fuck would I do that? It's like, oh, because you know they 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 both were in the original TV show. Like, that's literally the equivalency of this. That just because this is a machine and this is a machine, we're gonna put the two decks together. And I mean, ugh, I I didn't know what I was getting myself into. So rip on that. Rip 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 rip, 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 rip. 
So anyway, um, there you go, people. There's the deck profile. I would not recommend taking this deck. I would not recommend playing this deck. If you want to go ahead and play some Mech Lords, play some Mech Lords. Or play some Deathwatch, play some Deathwatch. Don't play them together. There's just, there's just no point. There's, there's no point. No point at all. So I apologize if I'm insulting or hurting anybody, especially the person who suggested the deck and, you know, tried to help me out with, you know, building the deck. And I was just like, this deck is... It's just pointless, you know? It's just pointless. And it sucks that we gotta stick, sometimes we gotta stick to that cookie cutter archetype shit, but that's just the way Yu-Gi-Oh! goes. That, you know, sometimes the square block has to fit in the square hole, and the better it fits, the better the deck will run. But when we try to just smush things together for the sake of smushing things together, like this fucking travesty, then look what we did. So I tried. You can't say, you can't say I didn't try. I think I get an A for effort. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Uh, I said the deck that would be replacing it intact, which is Herotics, will be up. The video is already... Uh, should be up. should be up. You know, they go up at the same time. So, like, so you're going to be getting double daily deals all this week. All deck profiles and all replacements. So, uh, be sure to come back tomorrow. We'll be doing another deck profile. Uh, the deck profile for my Demise Gladiator Beast. And the deck that will be replacing it, which is another Beast deck, Mecha Phantom Beast. Okay. All right. So, uh, thanks for watching, people.